Now, um, part three isn't really going to be that long. It's quite easy to do. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, if you hear the fan in the background, you can hear my voice. I seem to have gotten the flu overnight. So, um, I'm just going to have to excuse the sound of me breathing. Okay, so what I did is I brought this back over from Painter after using Marilyn Sholin's brushes, which um, I got from this site here. And she has um, some new brushes. Her premium cloners here, which I've been studying since 4 a.m. this morning. They're really cool. Um, lots of great effects. Um, she has a teaser video on her YouTube, so go check that out. It's pretty cool. And I'm going to be using a texture from Paul Grand and uh, Jill her um, right here. I'm using a texture from, from uh, Paul Grant and Jill Ferry's uh, flypaper texture blog uh, site that you can purchase here. Yeah, so I'm breathing. You can hear me breathing, right? Anyways, so this is quite simple. What I did, of course, is sign my name using a crayon. <laughs> I think it was a lino crayon. And then added a paper texture and put the paper texture on hard light and brought down the opacity a little bit. And then I used the uh, paintbrush on the mask, and I had the opacity at 50%, and I just masked out my face just a little bit so that you can still see some of the texture of the flypaper. So remember, we have flypaper in the background. And then we brought this over and painted it using Mary Sheldon's brushes. And then put pa fly paper back on the front in Photoshop. And that's all. That's part three. Sorry about it being so blah, but I'm just not feeling good. Alright, talk to you later.